Tattoos, full day in my studio in my flat. 150 pounds for any design you want. Oh my god, they're beautiful. Look at this Picasso at work. I love the tiger on the top right. It's like you didn't even finish coloring it. You just, I don't even know what you tried to do, but it's, it's just bad. <laughs> What's going on guys, gals, and non-binary pals? My name is David the Baker and you're watching Easy Peasy. Okay, wow, I managed to rip off both Thomas Sanders and Disney Channel at the same time. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of r slash crackhead craigslist. I've never read this subreddit, but I'm super excited to, so without further ado, let's go. Mattress for sale, $100. Oh, I'm sorry, mattress for sale. So many spelling errors. Minor stains, but has been for breeze and smells fine. Price is firm, there are no holds. First come, first serve. Or first come, first sale. This guy is really bad at spelling. Th th those brown stains are chocolate, right? Yeah, they, they, they're just chocolate. I bought an extra large pizza, but I hate the crust, so I wanna sell it to someone who enjoys it. Looking to get some money back. Five dollars? Can't deliver, thanks. Comes with three slightly used marinara sauces. Who's the mad lad that's gonna see this and be like, oh, I'm interested? Better yet, they send a message that's like, is the price negotiable? Lifted lawnmower. The belt came off six months ago and I have not touched it since. Eighty dollars today, come and get it fast. Okay, well if the belt is off, then that's definitely not safe to ride. Plus it says lifted lawnmower, which means it's stolen. Are people really just selling stolen property and advertising it as stolen? Like it's not new, it's not used, no, it's specifically stolen. Real vampire needed in Lancaster. Hi, my boyfriend and I would really like to get bitten by vampires so that we can be immortal and live together forever. If you're a vampire and are willing to turn two people that are crazy in love, we would be forever grateful. Do not contact me with unsolicited services or offers. You just got one creep in the messages like, I'm no vampire, but I'll bite on you and your boyfriend's neck. Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. 2012 home built shopping cart, $500. Yo, no cap, That that's actually kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth $500 because you could just buy a regular go-kart for that much, but I mean, hey, it's still pretty cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to laugh at this person's looks, but making a voice for them is gonna be difficult. Is it a woman? Is it a man? I'll just try and do something androgynous. Clothes, absolutely free. I can imagine this seller like going to your house to deliver the clothes and they come in empty handed. You're like, where's the clothes? And they just slowly start taking off their clothes. You're like, oh God, no. Hello everybody. I'm trying to test the waters with my latest and greatest. How often do you need a back scratcher and are hungry at the same time? Now you get it. The fork back scratcher two in one, the fork scratcher. I'm asking for 20 bucks, but hurry and get it while supplies last. It won't be this cheap for long. Homemade back scratcher, $20. This guy just goes to the silverware store he's like i'll take all your forks i'm gonna be rich stanley chainsaw 160 dollars oh but it used to be 180 dollars now that's a steal cool ranch dorito last one in the bag first come first serve five thousand dollars bro okay okay first off you clearly took a bite out of the chip all right so so it's more like half of a chip Second off, and most importantly, wash your freaking hands. What, what am I looking at, bro? Your hands are dirtier than my search history. Just wash your hands, man. Introducing the 2010 Turbo Pug Pugster, only for $4,000. Uh, what the heck is a Turbo Pug Pugster? It kind of looks like a jetpack for the dog, or, or maybe a weaponized suit of armor for a pug. I, I don't know. This is a vintage Apple Macintosh Plus. It's in working condition. $10,000. The unit boots perfectly. It comes as is, without mouse or keyboard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you can't charge me $10,000 and not have it come with a mouse or keyboard. Come on. That's a total ripoff. You know what's sad about this? $10,000 is so much, and yet you could only buy two Mac computers with that much. Apple really be charging a lot. Offer up. Ugly ass n***a. MacBook Pro and more picked for you. Why would I want to buy an ugly ass? N I am an ugly ass. N <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, all right, moving on to the next meme. This here is a rare Trump $2020 bill. Yep, it's totally real and it's worth $2,700. Bag of McDonald's Coke. <laughs> Who like tiptoed into McDonald's, snuck past the employees, went straight to the soda machine, like pulled out their little baggie and just filled it up with Coke. 
which mad lad did it? Because I gotta know. Whoever did this, you're a psychopath, you're a mad lad, and just for that, I might buy it off of you. McD's partial nuggets, $1. You know, for what's essentially six nuggets, that's that's not a bad idea. Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controller knife blade holder grip custom Joy-Con. Imagine this, you're playing Smash with your friend. He's playing as Snake and he beats you. Now it's time for you to show him who the real Snake is. That's why these controllers are perfect for you. Ringers from the top end. Now you can have beautiful jewelry made from a loved one's teeth. What better way to remember the dearly departed? Any other way than this. Any way would be better than storing their teeth on your finger. Come on, this is just weird. Free! Bag of full Dairy Star half and half coffee creamers. Oh wow, this is actually a good deal. Although it begs the question, how did you get your hands on so many of these? And why are you giving them away for free? I can imagine the cops are just cracking down, they're like kicking down his door, they're like, where are the creamers? And he turns to the officer, he's like, you fool, I got rid of them all. You'll never get those coffee creamers. Tic Tac Corn Limited Edition. Me, myself, I'm from rural North Carolina, and this is how Tic Tacs look normally. What, that's not how Tic Tacs look for you? What are you guys, some kind of weirdo? 1980 Toyota Corolla. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that's a 1980 Toyota Corolla, but on the bright side, it looks good. 2000 Saturn Death Cart, $2,000. Ever wanted a convertible? Too expensive? Not anymore. Yeah, but you're gonna get pulled over the second you take this thing out for a spin. I guarantee you that much. One half sandwich from Subway, $5. <laughs> <laughs> you could get more bang for your buck and just get the $5 foot long. Seriously, who's gonna pay for this? Used Office Depot roller skates, $35. Imagine pulling up to the roller rink in these. You'll be the coolest person out there. Oh cool, it's the Fender Stratocaster. And for only $300? Sweet playing Fender Stratocaster. It won't last long at this price. Sure, buddy. That's totally a Fender guitar. You totally didn't just grab a Sharpie and just draw Fender on it. No, no, no. This is legit. Jack Daniels lamp. All right, all right. This is pretty cool. Definitely not worth 270 pounds, but it's still very cool. Hattorio Hanzo Japanese steel. $100,000. This is a real sword forged in Japan for cutting down thy enemies. Do you seek vengeance for the ones you loved? If on your journey you should encounter God, God will be cut. Uh, great for chopping vegetables too. And for the cheap price of $100,000, how could you not buy? Moldy bagels, 100% free. Perfect for anyone who's looking to kick their immune system up a notch. These amazing bagels come with 18 guaranteed diseases. No need to travel to the third world. That's too dangerous. No need for painful vaccines. Owie, stop eating garlic infused soy broccoli. Gross. I guarantee once you've eaten my immune boosting bagels, you will never eat anything else again. Yeah, cause you'll be dead. Rancid Lux sold separately. Comes with a pair of slightly used feet. You know, I wasn't sold on the moldy bagels, but them feet, mm, where do I sign? Free high heels. I have various sizes of new high heels I'm getting rid of. Most are between four and six inch heels. Let me know if you're interested. Warning for the high heels ad. The post for high heels is an often repeated ad by a perverted man with a foot fetish. He is dangerous, please don't respond. Oh gosh, that's just creepy. Oh, it's a Nintendo thingamabop. $30. My grandson left this here and he won't come back. He refuses to visit me. So it looks like Timmy's losing his Nintendo thingamabob. 2005 Dodge Caravan. $350. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, it, it looks like this. I love how it says, give the wife the van she always wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your wife didn't want this. And if she did, what's wrong with your wife? Half a gallon of milk. Going on vacation and I didn't want it to go to waste. It expires on October 19th. Still enough left for a couple more bowls of cereal. I mean, and this guy does not lie. That's about exactly one half of a gallon. But if you've gotten to this point, just throw the milk out. Four pairs of mesh hospital underwear. How did you get a hold of this? And why is your first thought to sell them? I mean, I kind of understand. Like, hospitals overcharge you for literally everything. It would even make sense if he was trying to sell it just for the sake of paying off the medical bills, but no. This guy's giving them away for free, which opens up the door for even more questions. Ceiling fan, $85. I mean, technically the truth. It's technically a fan on the ceiling. I can't argue with that logic. Real metal prison toilet. How did you get your hands on one of these? This person didn't want to break out of prison. No, they were like, I got to get this toilet out of here to sell. Like, where does your mind wander off to to think that this is a good idea? 
Craftsman Mechanic Tool, $25. Maybe the person who posted this will look back and be like, oh, I uploaded the wrong picture. Or maybe this is what they wanted us to see. What, you don't use your snake for a mechanic tool? What are you guys, some kind of weirdo? Abstract art, $2,000. For, for these scribbles? What, did your five-year-old kid make this? I'm not paying you $2,000, you're out of your mind. Mint condition iPod touch, $400. Okay, it must be pretty good for $400. Oh my God! Did your phone get hit by a train? Like, gosh! Yeah, that is totally mint condition. Yeah, I believe that 100%. Free, an opportunity. Trading this paperclip in exchange for literally anything. We all have junk we don't want. Give me a piece of yours and I'll give you a piece of mine. Seriously, I'll take anything. You know, I've actually seen this. So there's like this challenge where people take paper clips and they try and trade them in to like get something extravagant over time. Doing like a series of small trades. It seems crazy, but I'm pretty sure there's somebody who started with a paper clip and went all the way up into trading a house. So I mean, this idea has worked in the past. Commerce profile. Partial slice of pizza, damaged burger, imperfect spaghetti, one half of a chicken taco, one half of a breakfast burrito, half empty yogurt. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with this person? Nobody wants to eat your half eaten food, okay? I know sharing is caring, but in this instance, it's just creepy. No ply toilet paper, $100. What is going on in these people's minds? Easy to store, can be used as a telescope and never runs out. Yeah, it never runs out because there's nothing there. That's like selling a shower head when there's no plumbing. So of course you can sit back and say, oh, it's not gonna run up your water bill, but that's only because it wasn't meant to work in the first place. $140, last minute desk and chair for back to school remote learning. Honestly, I, I like the minimalistic setup, but yeah, definitely not worth $140. You tried it though, I'll give you points for that, but yeah, no. Huh. B-28RE Mach 28 US Thermonuclear Bomb Missile Handcraft Wood Model Large. Darn, that's a mouthful. And only for $228? Like, that's a steal. With a price like that, the market is gonna blow up. Literally. Chicken Nuggets, $20. Okay, this is why you don't let kids use Facebook Marketplace. 1927 Ford Escape. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a car at this point. It's just a husk. It's a husk of what a car used to be. I would give you $200 max. And of course, Etsy comes in with Easter Bunny Fetus. Really, Etsy, what are you doing at this point? You're basically the creepy uncle of shopping on the internet. Rare Thai Beanie Babies, $18,000. Got them rare beanie babies that can make somebody rich. I'm trying to get rid of them using up my space in my closet. The seller's just like, I mean, I could be rich myself, but I'd rather have a clean closet. So, you know, I'll just sell it to you for $18,000 and then boom, we'll be even. Half Drank Vinegar. Free half drink bottle of vinegar. Need someone to come over and drink the other rest with me. Willing to do trade for bacon grease. COVID rules need not apply. Rebels only. Oh, we know what rebels only means. It means Confederate flags and scientific illiteracy. And by the way, who just drinks vinegar? Like, what kind of mad lad do you have to be to do something like that? Are these people drinking vinegar and bacon grease? Like, ah, oh, come on. Fresh slides, $300. Like new fresh brand slides. I paid $400. I'm looking for $300 or a trade. Yeah, but if you zoom in to the top of the slides, they even look a little dirty. They're certainly not worth $300. Mystery box, $217. 10 bucks says that the seller stole this from somebody else's porch. They had no idea what to do with it, so they're just like, ooh, I'll, I'll say it's a mystery and just sell it online. Like, what an idiot. 1957 autograph dollar, atomic bomb, na Hiroshima, Nagasaki, bikini, what? That makes absolutely no sense. Not to mention your price is absolutely ridiculous. Shop BLK Water. I mean, you could get this BLK Water, or you could get this really old and creepy looking baby. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it's coming out by Etsy. Vintage metal lawn chair, $75. For those hunks of junk, absolutely not. Simp, handmade simp poster. I'm certain that there's somebody out there who definitely needs this. They look at this poster, they feel all bad. They're like, man, I am a simp. And then they turn their head and they see the nice cock poster and they're like, oh yeah, maybe things aren't that bad after all. Homemade Millennium Falcon model. Definitely not worth $70, but I mean, I appreciate the effort you put into it. Maybe instead of posting it on a marketplace, you could just put it on Reddit. Kanye drawing, $5. 
Oh, by the way, I'm recording this the day before the US election day. Did Kanye win the presidency? I don't know. Probably though, right? Curved ice cube and maybe trade? One dollar. You're gonna have somebody send an angry review like one star. I ordered the ice cube, but in the box there was just water. What the heck, man? King size bed, $125. Sleeps great. It does have some stains from kids. It bends a little in the middle, but laying on the frame doesn't affect how you sleep. Yeah, but who doesn't want to lay in the middle of their bed? And by the way, you can't just say it has stains from kids. Does that mean kids have stained the bed with food or, or bodily fluid? Or did somebody have kids on the bed? Like, you, you're not specific enough. We need to know these answers. Be the first person to buy this $1 million pencil and make my life. Please buy. Oh, <laughs> this poor person is just so desperate. Well, I mean, maybe if Mr. Beast sees it, he might, you know, just throw a million your way, maybe. Probably not, but you know iPhone 11 Pro Max, 250 gigabytes with Fortnite. Wait, 2,700 pounds? That's ridiculous. The iPhone 12 is less expensive than that. Then again, the iPhone 12 price is a ripoff too, so I mean, you can't win. Part corn on the cob. Hmm, hi, is this available? I'll trade you an already f chicken. Not gonna lie, not a bad trade. What's with this subreddit and selling like half-eaten food? Like who are the crazy people who think they're gonna get money off of this? Sensual Kermit. 69, 69, 69. You know what? I made a lot of jabs at Etsy, but no, you know, they're finally on the right track. Beat up your stepdad for free. Available for all of Long Island. Is your stepdad a jerk? Want to see him get knocked the f out? Well, I'm your guy. No weapons, just good old fashioned beatdown. May record for World Star. No money required. I may even pay you if your stepdad's name is Larry or Rick. You may bring your whole family to witness this kicking, but if someone jumps in, just know that they too will in fact catch these hands. Email me ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy just wants to fight. He's looking for a noble reason to do so, but nah, he just wants to knock somebody out. This guy's got a lot of pent-up rage in him, and honestly, I respect it. The pictures are lying. These are in good shape. I don't know where these came from. Probably one of my husband's whores. All in good condition and really cute. I mean, if you just want to air out your business like that, I mean, go ahead. Hopefully you can get a couple bucks off of this. Maybe the money you make from this will go to a divorce lawyer. I don't know, but good luck. Hero worship taxidermy rats. Free shipping, adult theme, and humor. Not gonna lie, it takes a pretty weird person to buy this, but I'm pretty sure Damien Lee's fan base might like this, so I don't know. Garage sale, homemade bread, $5. Fresh loaves made with my wife's own vaginal yeast. Oh, oh God, oh no. Oh hell no, oh -ho! Anyways, guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of r slash crackhead crizzlet. Crackhead Chris. Cr fuck. Why can't I say crackhead Craigslist? Anyways, that's my time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of r slash crackhead Craigslist. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and don't forget to support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of all our easy peasy uploads. If you want to hear more from me, check out my channel. Links down in the description below. I'm your host, David the Baker, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out and three thumbs up.